out at the Desert Storm Memorial where the artesian well feeds into the Rio San Jose. And Eric, you had an agenda. And what what is the purpose of your coming out here and doing this work? Well, you know, you we live in such a beautiful community. I mean, there's a lot of good people, there's a lot of good things, but what, what, we, what we need to focus on and do just a little bit better is just trying to keep this, this place clean up because as people are driving by, you know, we get thousands of people that come by every week down uh, Route 66 is, you know, as they're passing along here, we want to make sure that it's a memorable experience. We want them to come back. We want them to say, hey, that's a cool place. We want them to Google what's next in Cibola County, what's next in Grass New Mexico, what does Milan have to offer? Offer because economic growth over here, uh, we desperately need it because um, uh, we want to prosper. So we uh, we said, you know, well, what's the easiest thing? And it's the cleanup. And, and this is something that uh, Mr. Windhorst actually got me started in five years ago with some cleanup projects. And I've seen some big, big changes and the movement and how people started to get engaged. And so if you guys look back five years ago, um, you can see where it's been a significant difference of, of just cleaning stuff up. So, um, you know, I said the teamwork moves mountains. So we're over here at the uh, Desert Storm Memorial right here on Santa Fe Street. We're trying to cut down these, uh, uh, the trees, the prune them down so you can look at the, uh, the pond. We're trying to clean up the pond. Uh, that's one of my workers for my business. Um, of course, I make him in that pond and get him, get him dirty, right? <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways, I'll jump in there here a little bit. But uh, something simple that can be big, big time uh, effective in our community. Right. Now, you know, I did not realize and I thought I knew everything about the community because we've been doing tourism since 1984 for our community. And I did not know that this was a Vietnam Memorial. Uh, Desert Storm. Des excuse me, Desert Storm. Uh, memorial here. I had no clue, and my son was in Desert Storm. I, I bet you his name is up there on the plaque. Uh, is he from Grants? Oh, he wasn't. No, from, he's oh. not from Grants. Oh, okay. But he served 14 months in that capacity. I know. That's uh, awesome. So, but he had such a wonderful sense of humor. This is what he did one day. He's got this Dunkin' Donuts cap on, you know, and uh, see people saying, what do you do? He said, I'm going down to the mess hall because they're serving Dunkin' Donuts down there. Well, they weren't serving Dunkin' Donuts down there, but he kept his sense of humor going all the time. And this helped with the long days, the heat, oh, yeah. all of the things that they had to do. And so the thing that you're honoring this is really, important to not only me, but it's important to our country. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that cleaning up, you mentioned that you wanted to set a standard for these things that the city is going to be taking over. So why don't you comment on that too? Well, you know, everybody gets into a mode, you know, and you know, we tend to, if it looks clean, then we move on. But sometimes we overlook or get too busy on the fine details of, uh, hey, maybe that park needs, bench needs to be painted or maybe, hey, these trees need to be cut back. Um, so the detailing part of it, because that's what people see. I mean, you take an aerial view of, of the whole park and you, you look at it and you're like, wow, this place is neat. Wow, you know, you, you see it. But then uh, if you do your walk by and get a little closer, um, you know, it needs a little bit of improvement. And that's where we say we can get the most economic uh, impact by cleaning stuff up. Well, you know, years ago, uh, Michael Lewis, who owns the property across the street, decided that he would clean up this area, the, the river walk mm -hmm. along here. Oh, yeah. And they took tons of trash. I mean, they were hauling stuff out over and over and over that day that they were walking out there. And so if we set an example for uh, the the uh, our community being pristine, our community, people begin to respect that. They're not going to throw their trash in the river walk. They're not. And now that we have the legacy trail, yeah. We want the city's people. actually over there cleaning that up today too. Wonderful. So we're doing a lot of stuff thanks to you and your vision for the city. I think we're going to make some drastic changes. Now, you know, in 1984, we started doing tourism, the only company in the state of New Mexico that focused on tourism. And we're still promoting that aspect for our community. Oh, yeah, definitely. And so what is what else do you want to convey to the public today regarding um, the
the projects that you're, 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 you see in the future? Well, one of the big projects, if you guys didn't see the city council meeting the other night, um, I really was trying to focus on an idea that came from uh, one of our residents, Les Gaines. Uh, we were out there in the mountains probably five years ago riding bikes. Um, he was in front of me, he was talking. I, he was telling me about, hey, we should, what, what do you think about a road to the top of La Mosca would do to our community? And at the time, and this was before I even thought about getting into uh, running for commissioner at the time, and at the time I thought, eh, whatever. I, I, that's whatever. But as I more as I started to look at when I started to run for a commissioner, how we can try to improve our communities, you know what? That made sense. Because that brings, that's going to bring some uh, people from all over the state, maybe all over the country, just to come and just take that nice little cruise, stop in here, buy some food, get some gas, stop at one of our uh, beautiful parks and enjoy, uh, go back, have a great experience, tell their friends. That's how we, that's, we need that uh, grocery cease tax in our communities because that what builds everything else. We can actually, if we have money in our town, it's easy to, to, to do stuff. It's like anything. I mean, money is, it, it doesn't solve the, all the problems, but actually it, it does help to um, gain some freedom to, to get some projects done. Well, you know, I just, well, you were mentioning uh, going to La Mosca. You know, the Park Service has this ranger program mm -hmm. so that youngsters go to these various parks and they get a, a, a stamp. Well, suppose that we had some things, maybe a seal or something. I drove up to La Mosca and they get a something. A badge or something, yeah. Right, something to identify that they did this. And so now they're saying, hey, I took the highest road in New Mexico, drove up there, saw this beautiful environment, and I'm going to come back for the quad. I'm going to come back for uh, different other things that are happening. Oh, yeah, that, that road, if you, if you think about it, Take a cruise up there. I, I encourage everybody to go up there now. Uh, take a 4x4 because after the gravel, it gets a little rough, but um, it could happen. I mean, it's not, it's not, it, it will take, you know, a little bit of money, but it's not, uh, you're not building a brand new road. You're not cutting into a, a brand new mountain that has never been touched. Um, um, if you think about it, I mean, the economic impact, even for our residents, is like, what happens when it snows? Everyone heck, goes all the way up to one little hill, tubing hill and we all squish in there but what if you had a road and every time there's so often you find a place and as we're building this road they build a pool out so we can have some uh snow sleds for the kids or the adults whoever wants to go have fun because when it snows what do we what does every other residents do we, we go to one little hill so what if you had multiple hills and as as i was thinking about you know this road and you're googling different things just like you said the boy scouts there's so many other organizations that traveling car clubs you know you got uh you got the bird seeking if they can get to different locations and ease they can actually get up there and enjoy the mountains get out of the the cities and and just have fun mary has kept our parks just so she's done it all single-handedly for years and our uh, veterans memorial park which used to be called friendship park uh, it was started by grants main street and they got money from grant state bank and jamie holton was out there every weekend working out there planting and pulling weeds and stuff for years and you've continued that and you've made our city just so <laughs> People come here that were here back during um, the mining, and they say, it's changed. It's a beautiful city now. And you it's thanks to you and your hard work that Thank you've you. made this happen, Thank Mary. You. Thank you. I enjoy and what I do. I know you do. And Eric, thank you for your vision for what you're accomplishing and it's going to be even more. Yeah, more, more. We, we, we have a team now, you know, the, um, you know, the, the council, the mayor, everybody, you know, we, we know that uh, um, we need uh, the, to get this place cleaned up. We need to start attracting people because that something will show up. I don't know what that is, but that's what's gonna help. So let's just clean it up and let's see what happens. Well, years ago, I did a, a an impact study for New Mexico State University. And I wondered why we had all this traffic going down Interstate 40, and we were not pulling that traffic on into grants. And so that impact study 
uh, went into the university for the future. Well, we're here and we need to be pulling this traffic off the interstate. We need to be encouraging Route 66. We need to be focusing on things that are going to help grants prosper. Yeah. I want to thank you for tuning in to this segment. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Mary. You're Your hero. You, you are our heroes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.